It's Friday, the weekend is here, and often that means a trip to the grocery store. I really need to go, but with prices the way they are right now, no one can blame you if you're facing the shop or facing shopping with some dread. So new this morning, John Shumray explores ways to stock up and save. Give us all the good advice. Well, you want to stock up when you see one of those really good deals, something that you really use a lot and it's cheap. But what can you stock up on and save safely? As you work the aisles of the grocery store, you want every penny to count. So let's start with those oh so expensive eggs right now. If you find a deal, you can stock up because that best buy date. You can go up to a month after that. I've personally used them after a month, maybe in baking. Penn State Extension's Mary Alice Getting says she has used eggs up to six weeks after the expiration date. They do lose some flavor and quality. They taste fresher the closer they are to that date. Another stock up item if you find a sale is beef. Put it in the freezer and it's good for a year or more. But it does not hurt the safety. It affects more the quality when you freeze. Mary Alice says the grocery where she shops always has chicken fairly cheap, so she buys the multi-packs and freezes the breast individually. Again, good for a year or so. Now the key is getting those items in the freezer within a day or two of purchasing them. But if you do find a deal, it can be a great savings to have that stuck in the freezer for the long term. Absolutely. I like to cook so much that I'll put stuff in the freezer and then keep cooking and keep cooking and it just adds up. So I'm yeah. not a big <laughs> freezer, but if you want to freeze pork and fish, does do those freezing rules work for that as well? Yeah, they absolutely do. And by the way, when you put something in the freezer, it might be smart to take a Sharpie and mark the date on it. Good just idea. See, just so really, you know yeah. if you're packing it yourself. We're going to go into other areas of the grocery store coming up. Areas you might right now shy away from because they tend to get a bad rap. We're going to bust that myth for you. All right, well, we look forward to that. And also, don't shove everything in the back of the freezer. <laughs> you need to be able to see it I or know. it gets lost back yeah. there. It, things really do get lost in yeah. there. <laughs>